Montana is a top target for Republicans hoping to reclaim the Senate next year and is one of three Democrat-held Senate seats up for grabs this year in a state that Donald Trump carried in 2020. I'm going out to certain places to help certain senators get elected, not even for me. I'm trying to help when I go out to Wyoming or when I go out to Montana or I'm going to different places to help people. And I don't have to go there because I'm leading those states, as you know, by 35, 40, 50 points. I'm leading by record numbers. I'm going because I want to help senators and congressmen get elected. Now, John Tester is one of the most vulnerable Democrats uh, whose seat's up for grabs this year. And we're here now with Nathan from Helena, Montana. Nathan, yes, look, uh, Tim Sheehy, right? Yeah. Uh, John Tester accuses Tim Sheehy of being a carpet bagger. He says he wants to turn it, turn Montana into a playground for the rich. What do you say to John Tester about Tim Sheehy saying, look, he's not from here. He doesn't belong here. Well, uh, if they know anything about the history of Montana, most people migrated from Minnesota back in the 1800s. So we're all immigrants, really. We're all from somewhere else. From somewhere else. Yeah, Lewis, you're also from Helena. Yes, Look, sir. Uh, you've got a shirt on. It says, Miss Trump yet? How have Montanans missed Donald Trump over the last four years? Well, they have did it because there's been some pretty shady stuff going in around Montana and and the whole United States, actually. Rising costs hurting you? Rising costs are killing us. It's insane. It's just very inappropriate. Like, when I got to sit there and buy milk at $6 a gallon, you know, I mean... And that's one of the things that Tim Sheehy says, you know, he wants to lower inflation here in Montana and across the country. Uh, we're expecting to hear from Tim Sheehy tonight. Of course, Donald Trump will be here tonight. Montanans, they're out here early, guys. We've got about 11 hours to go until the former president takes the stage later tonight here at Montana State University. Yeah, Mike, um, jealous of the weather, by the way. Uh, <laughs> how, how does that work in terms of we always see when you're at the rallies, you see people lining up so early. We're talking hours and hours before Trump would even take the stage. Is that for is that for seating? How, how, how does that work? And also, number two, have you seen a more beefed up security presence uh, given what happened in Butler, Pennsylvania? Yeah, I'll speak to the second question first, Sean. You know, security has been, of course, on the forefront of the minds of everyone when it comes to these rallies over the last month, ever since that assassination attempt. Uh, we've just been here for about an hour now. It's been, uh, I, security wise, maybe a little bit less than we've seen at some other rallies, Harrisburg, Charlotte, uh, Atlanta, but uh, we can expect that to increase throughout the day. Uh, as far as folks getting in line early, look, it's first come, first serve at these Trump rallies, right? They're free to attend, but you got to get in if you want to get in. And Donald Trump is famous for saying to the folks who actually make it inside the rallies, hey, would you trade your seat for someone outside? Nah, the crowd would respond. And then Trump would inevitably say, ah, oh, you're not as nice as I thought you were. Look, people are excited. There is an enthusiasm here that is organic, and it's organic because we've seen it for the last eight years. Now, Donald Trump will say about Kamala Harris rallies, look, she gets two, 3,000 people at her rallies. If I got that, the press would say, my campaign is over. But uh, the folks like <laughs> Lewis and Nathan here, look, they drove yeah. in from Helena. It's a 150-mile drive. What time did you guys leave this morning? Uh, at 5. 5 a.m. Yeah. So, look, you know, <laughs> folks are excited. It is a... Uh, a festive atmosphere. You've got some folks, Sean, that go to all of these rallies. The Front Row Joes, they go follow Donald Trump around the country. Uh, hundreds of rallies under their belt. So uh, for folks like uh, Nathan and Lewis, you know, this is maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity. They don't want to miss it. Yeah, and they'll wake up early to do so and stay all throughout the day. I'm sure you make a lot of friends, by the way. They might be become close, close with one another by the end of they the day. They love Newsmax. Hey, we'd yeah. love to hear it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thanks, Mike. Great stuff. We'll check in with Thanks, you throughout guys. the day here on the show. And, of course, coverage 9 p.m. tonight.